magical world genre is one of the most classic manga genres. From series such as Sailor Moon to Kaka Sakura, the magical world genre is one of the most popular genres in manga and anime today. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you 21 completely free to use ideas for your magical girl manga, comic, or novel. I hope you enjoy this video and it helps you with your manga creations. If you don't already know me, my name is Minette Cross and on this channel I dedicate all my videos to helping you turn your manga into a masterpiece. I'm currently working on my own manga titled Having Faith, which you might hear me talk about in today's video, but also in other videos on my channel. Now if you're new to my channel and you'd love to see more videos just like this one today, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon to get notified every time I upload something new. I upload a new video every Sunday and Thursday all about manga creating and I would love to have you join me on the channel. Now, as always, the ideas in this free to use ideas video are completely free to use. You are welcome to use them just as prompts or inspiration, or you can base your whole story around them if you would like. It's up to you how you use these ideas. These are just to help you in your own creative process. If you want to check out all of my free to use ideas videos, make sure to click on the card right here and you can see the full playlist. I'll be making many more ideas videos in the future. So as I mentioned before, if you want to see more, consider subscribing because I will be uploading all of those videos very soon. Also, even though the ideas in this video are based on the magical girl genre, the genders of the magical characters definitely don't just have to be girls. You can also have magical boys or any other gender you would prefer. Even if I may refer to the characters in this as a particular gender, you can make the characters in these ideas any gender you would like. Please keep in mind that magical girl characters don't just have to be girls. So this video will be categorized into the various magical girl genres. So as well as classical magical girl, I will also have action magical girl, sci-fi magical girl, dark fantasy magical girl, and so on. I will be trying to cover as many different kinds of sub-genres of magical girl as possible. So without further ado, let's go into the 21 free to use ideas for your magical girl manga, comic, or novel. So idea number one is set in the Roman era. So a girl in Rome is constantly going through hardships, abused by her family for not being pretty enough or not being skilled enough in her chores. Even through all the hardships, she is always kind. That kindness causes her to run out in front of a cart to save a stray dog, nearly getting trampled herself. One day she goes to the well to get water and is startled to discover that she has no reflection. Moments later, the surface of the water starts rippling and she is pulled into the surface. When she wakes up, she discovers other girls from different times, a girl from medieval times, a girl from feudal Japan, a girl from the Victorian era, and a modern day girl and a girl from the far future. Girls who have shown particular bravery and courage in their daily lives have each been chosen for one main mission. The dog that the Roman girl had saved now stands before them and turns into a genderless being with the ears of a dog. Their name is Io. Io tells them that each of their times are in danger by the Time Stealers, a being that destroys fragments from each time period. They ultimately want to break down the walls between time and space in order to merge the times. When time is properly merged, the Time Stealers, they intend to take over the new world of merged times and become rulers. So Io and a group of others has stealed away the Time Stealers centuries ago, but now they have found a way to break the barriers by destroying the lost time. Io tells the girls that they have been chosen for their kindness and bravery, and their task is to go to each of the times and find the Time Stealers who are blending into each of the time periods. With the devices Io has given them, they are able to travel through time and are able to see the Time Stealers for who they really are. But they need to be careful. They cannot change the events in those time periods, and they must swiftly stop the time stealers without affecting anything else. Because if they do change things in time, they could change everything, for better or worse. Idea number two is that the main character is bullied at school a lot, and as the outcast, she normally spends her lunch breaks walking around the school gardens, talking to the school gardener. One day she goes out to find the school gardener, and finds that he has collapsed outside with an arrow through his back. The girl turns him over and tries to help, but it is no use. The gardener warns her to get away, but she insists on getting help. As the girl watches, the gardener turns into a dragon. The gardener, who is now a dragon, tells her that all the dragons are being targeted, but without the dragons, the world would fall out of balance. His job was to take care of nature, but there are other dragons out there who take care of the oceans of the world, and some that would help others to be kind, or others that bring happiness. Someone wants to destroy the world, and they are somehow discovering who the Dragon Guardians are. The Dragon Guardian of Nature then gives the girl an egg, and tells her to take care of it. 
With it, he passes on the role of guardian of nature to her. Then the dragon fades away and turns into leaves that blow away on the wind. After a few days, the egg hatches and a baby green dragon comes out. The girl realizes that she can now hear the dragon speak. The dragon tells her that as her role of nature guardian, she now needs to track down who has been targeting all of the guardians. To help her on her mission, she needs to find the other girls who have taken on the roles of guardians and join forces, because they will only succeed if they all work together. Magical girl idea number three is that there is a fantasy kingdom called the Flower Kingdom. The kingdoms are divided by various kinds of flowers, so there are hydrangeas, roses, tulips, daffodils, and so on. Each kingdom has their own ways of doing things, but they all have one thing in common. Every person in the kingdom is raised to take on the role of champions of the kingdom. Every person in the kingdom has equal chance to become that champion. Everyone wants to become a champion in the kingdom because it allows them to be in a place of great power and money. It also allows them to travel beyond kingdoms to see other places. The main character is born in the Lily Kingdom and grew up disliking the champions who always seem to flaunt their power and status above everyone else. However, one day when she discovers an escaped champion hiding in the cellar of her family house, even as she dislikes the champions, she decides to protect this one. The champion was supposed to be killed but they managed to escape. The flowers in the kingdoms are all beginning to wilt, and soon the champions know that they will be next. The champion believes that someone is behind all this, but they don't know who it is. The champion needs to stop them, but they can't do it alone. They offer the girl a chance at becoming their apprentice. In exchange, the girl will be able to transform with the power of the Lily Kingdom and stop who is behind the wilting process. My fourth idea is that the magical girls who help protect the town have now become complacent. Even though others still respect these head magical girls, another group of girls have grown tired of the fact that these magical girls just let the bad guys slip under their noses, yet believe that there is nothing they can do. One day, one of the girls is in an accident and when she wakes up, she finds that she can slip in and out of invisibility. She does not have the powers to transform, but she does use the few powers she has to stop the villains where the true magical girls fail. She later discovers that there are even more girls who are now gaining strange abilities. A girl who was almost drowned now has the power to breathe underwater. A girl who nearly died in a fire can now control fire. A girl who fell now has the power to fly. The characters with these strange powers decide to band together and create their own mismatched magical group. Even though they might not be true magical girls, they decide to use their new powers to stop the villains where the true magical girls fail. My fifth idea is that in this story, magical characters gain powers through a succession process. Everyone has the ability to be a magical character as the powers are passed on through the generations. The surnames of each family correlates to that family's powers. So the smoke family would have powers of smoke. The lightning family would have the powers of lightning. When a child is born, they normally take on the powers of only one of their family members. The main character always believed that they had taken on the magical abilities from their father of being able to spin spider webs straight from the air, which gave them the unfortunate nickname of Incy Wincy throughout their school life. However, when crime in the city begins to rise up and people begin to get captured by the villains in exchange for their powers, the main character's mother pulls them aside and tells them of their hidden power. The main character not only got the powers of their father of spinning webs, but also the hidden powers of their mother, which is the powers of absorbing other powers for short amounts of time. With these abilities, the mother believes that the main character could stand up against the villain who also has those same powers. However, the villain has absorption powers from both parents, meaning they can absorb powers permanently. With adult, the main character realizes that they are related to the villain, and now they must stop the villain before it is too late. Joining up with a team of other magical characters, they work and train together to put a stop to the villain's tyranny before the villain absorbs all of the powers there are. My sixth idea is that the world has currently been overrun with vampires, with vampires now controlling most of the human towns. The main character is a vampire that got separated from their family and taken in by humans when they were just a child. They were raised as a human and taught to hide their vampire traits. As time goes on, the rule of the vampire gets more and more dangerous. With the main character's vampire abilities, not only could they hurt humans, but they also have the ability to share strength with them and make the humans stronger. In order to try and find a way to stop the bad vampires, the main character embeds jewelry with their powers and gives them to the trusted companions. These humans now also have power through the jewelry that is similar to the power of the vampires and are able to transform and fight them. With the team of magical characters, the main character works to try and stop the bad vampires while trying to hide the fact that they are a vampire too.
My seventh idea for a magical girl story is that the characters in this story are all ghosts, however something is stopping them from being able to move on. In this place between life and death, they all try to remember what they need to do in order to move on. However, they cannot stay in that realm forever, and as more and more Dark Souls continue to linger there, the more Dark Souls there are, the more risk there is of them entering the human world. In the hopes of being able to regain their lost memories and finish what they needed to do in life, they form a group together and defeat the Dark Souls. With each Dark Soul they defeat, they each regain their memories one by one and find out what they must do in order to move on fully. My eighth story idea is that with every human that is born in this world, there is a small chance that some are able to see in the unseen monsters. The unseen are monsters that are created from the darkness in human hearts. The main character is one of these people who was always able to see the unseen. It caused her to have a lot of fears, but it forced her to face those fears constantly. There is also another girl in this town, a famous and well-known idol, who is in a live-action show where she defeats monsters. After the main character's fear becomes too much, the darkness in her heart forms into an unseen. The idol comes to defeat it, and the main character learns that the idol actually is a real magical girl. The idol offers the main character the chance to be a magical girl too, and so the main character joins her. Together, they work to defeat the unseen while meeting others who have similar abilities to see them. The more unseen they defeat, the more happiness is restored to the world. My knife idea for a magical girl manga is that natural disasters are actually events caused by glows, beings that live in the natural structures and live off the energy of humans. Usually most glows are dormant, however they are always slowly absorbing the energy of humans. Once a glow absorbs too much energy, they cause the natural disaster. It might be an earthquake, a volcanic eruption, or a tsunami, just for an example. After the main character is trapped in the rubble of an earthquake, she finds that she was able to save herself with her crystal necklace that has been passed down through her family. She finds out that her family have magical abilities and were trained to be able to fight against the glows, not with the purpose of being able to destroy the glows, but to help things remain balanced in the world. The main character later learns that, however, with great power comes great price, and while she has the ability to fight the glows by dispersing the energy, if the main character absorbs too much energy, she has the risk of becoming a glowed as well. My 10th story idea is that in this world, abilities are not gained through magic, but a specific kind of martial arts training. This magical girl story would be set in ancient China and feature a lot of elements of martial arts. The main character is the daughter or son of a weaver and was always told that they needed to stay in the family business. But what this character wanted more than anything was to fight in the great tournaments where the winners would become the king's guard. The main character secretly has always practiced martial arts and has become extremely good at it. When the next great tournament occurs, the main character secretly goes and wins the entire tournament. When they meet the king, they hide who they are. However, when they meet the rest of the guard group, the main character realizes that they are very similar and joined with similar circumstances. They all wanted to become guard to escape their own duties. With their magical slash martial arts group, they fight enemies that might threaten the king and the kingdom. My 11th idea is that this story focuses on magical characters who don't actually transform but work to help people mentally. If they transformed, they would appear to be too flashy and they don't need to be flashy to achieve their purpose. These magical characters range from various ages and genders, but they all have one purpose, to help those who need help. So if someone is depressed or suicidal or mentally ill, they are able to locate them and come to help them. They know when someone is at a point of despair and stop them before they do something to hurt themselves. Because sometimes the greatest enemies are your own inner monsters. My 12th story idea is that a set of dolls, when created, were imbued with magical properties. These dolls can actually turn into physical magical girls through the powers of the happiness of the children. When the children near them are happy, they are more powerful. If the children are sad, the magical girls are weakened. The magical girls fight to preserve the happiness of the children in the world and fight against the nightmares that may suck that happiness out of them. My 13th story idea is that the villains in various fairy tale stories are chosen to become the next magical girls or boys in order to learn from their past errors. These villains might be the evil queen in Snow White, the wolf in Red Riding Hood, Mother Gothel, Maleficent and so on. They are reborn as humans and are able to transform using their past magical abilities. They must protect humanity for 1000 days without hurting humanity and learn to settle their differences along the way. 
If they can go 1000 days protecting humanity fully, they will finally be able to receive their own fairy tale ending, an ending that they truly want to receive. From the beginning to the end of this story, their dream fairy tale endings may change significantly. For example, at the beginning, the evil queen may wish to have an ending where Snow White is killed. However, by the end of the 1000 days, where she has spent her time protecting humanity, she may realise that what she really wanted all along was to also find someone who truly loved her. Each of their endings would change in a way that brings happiness to all of them. My 14th story idea is that the main character is sucked into the world of a mysterious book. Because she fell from the skies, the people of the fantasy town thought that she was an angel or a magical being. They thought that since she had abilities, she would be able to save them from the monsters that keep destroying the towns in the world. To her surprise, she finds that she does indeed have abilities and manages to stop the monsters. As well as this, she also feels a strange urge to travel this new world. As she travels through the world of the story, she discovers others who were also brought into the world of the book. They realise that they must have been given these powers for a reason, maybe to protect the people in this land of the book. They also come to understand that if they defeat all of the monsters and get to the final stage of this fantasy world, they will be able to return home. Instead of following the story that was already written in the book, where they might have a bad ending, they need to work together to try and change that ending into an ending where they all return safely and they save the day and they bring peace to this fantasy world. My 15th magical little story idea is that this story idea is inspired by the story of the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy is the main character and after a tornado hits her house, she wakes up in the land of Oz. She is then told by the Good Witch that their two worlds are beginning to merge and soon the real world will be filled with destruction. If Dorothy wants to save the world, she must transform with the power of the red shoes and become a magical girl. As Dorothy goes on her quest, magical characters inspired by the Scarecrow, Tin Man and the Lion. When Dorothy transforms, a sword and shield appear out of the air. The Scarecrow has a staff made from wood and can build up other Scarecrows from surrounding objects and use them in battle. The tin magical character uses a bow made from metal and silver bolts. The lion uses their physical prowess. As Dorothy continues to go through the world and stop the monsters, she comes to realise that the true enemy is the Good Witch, who had been cast away from the human world during the Middle Age Witch Trials and had always wanted to get her revenge all along. The wizard becomes a mentor character to them and helps them to train to fight against the monsters. Dorothy later learns that the Wicked Witch was actually a girl just like Dorothy who failed in her task to protect the real world and lost her powers. Together, these magical characters all work together to bring peace to this world and try and save the real world from destruction. My 16th story idea is that this story is set in modern times. The villains in this story, known as Nox, want to destroy each human so they can be the only ones left. When there is emergencies such as people getting sick, or car accidents, or earthquakes and so on, they are caused by the Nox. Even amongst the Nox, there are a few good there who realise that there needs to be balance in the world. A group of good Nox use their powers to give magical girls abilities. In order to protect the secrecy of the magical world, however, every time a magical girl is chosen, they lose their memories after they detransform. All their memories are restored when they are fighting and they are transformed, but when they are returned, they forget everything that has happened. The main character has been a magical girl for many years, yet as this character got stronger, they begin to see flashes of memories from their transformed selves. These memories get even stronger when the main character meets other magical girls they fight with. Together, they try to piece together the memories and the truth of their situation while their other selves continue to fight to stop the Nox. My 17th story idea is that technology in this world has become so blended that holograms and robots coexist with human life. As well as this, viruses have also become a problem in this technologically advanced life. The main character decides to volunteer for the Slayer program, which allows groups of participants to train in order to fight and stop the viruses. In exchange for destroying the viruses, they can earn money for their families. It's like a gaming or virtual world, however this is mixed in along with the real world in this story. At first, the main character doesn't get along with the others in the team she is automatically grouped with, but they slowly learn to put aside their differences and aim to be the best team they can be. My 18th tip is that the angel system allows those who have died a second chance at life. The magical characters are chosen based on their kindness in their human life and given a choice on if they want to live a half-life again but protect others through the process. They are then put back on Earth as young adults, though they can no longer age, and they have no memories of who they were in their previous life. They can live their new lives as they choose, but they must protect the humans from the unseen monsters known as Grievers. 
As the main character begins their new life, they keep getting strange memories of who they were before. With those memories, they decide to follow them to try and learn the truth of what really happened to them when they died. My 19th tip is that the magical characters in this series were all previously villains and all did something bad. Some might have stolen things or bullied or others could have done some even worse things. Every time someone does something bad in this world, a monster is created from the darkness of their soul. The magical characters now need to use the power of their dark souls in order to defeat the dark souls of others. As they defeat the dark souls of others, the villain's own dark souls are healed and become smaller and smaller. However, if these villains, now magical girls, continue to do bad things, their dark souls will overpower them until they turn into the monsters themselves. My 20th magical girl story idea is that the world in this story is governed by a system called the hero system. The world is kept kind and peaceful because the more kind people there are to each other, the more points accumulate for them. Everyone can see how many points everyone has by a number over their head. In exchange for more points, people can get better jobs or more money. However, some people choose to try and break the hero system to create carnage. The characters with the most hero points are chosen to help restore the balance of humanity by listening to the unsavory's problems and help them also find their internal happiness and peace. And my final idea, idea number 21, is that in this world, most of the earth has been swallowed by water. Currently, about 71% of Earth is covered with water. However, in this story idea, 98% of the Earth is now covered with water. Humans have built structures to last on top of the water and underneath the water. The main character dreams of becoming an explorer and wants to find out what really happened to the Earth before. However, beyond the ocean, there are legends of the glacial dragon. According to legend, the dragon can either deem you worthy and grant you magical powers or deem you unworthy and cast you into the ocean. The main character wants to know what is beyond and is determined to find the dragon in order to get the powers to hopefully restore humanity to how it was before. Along the way, the main character finds others to join the crew and they find the glacial dragon who gives them a task. They must find the 11 magical beings across the world and restore them to their former glory. Once the magical beings are restored, the glacial dragon will also be restored and will be able to grant them each a wish. But along the way, there will be dangers. Sea monsters have also risen to power, and now it would be up to these magical girls to defeat them. Thank you so much for watching my video today, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what kind of magical girl genre ideas were your favourite, because I would love to hear about it. Feel free to chat with me on any of my social media, and my name is Cross, because I always enjoy hearing from you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.